All right, guys. Just wanted to post a quick update to the trailer, the install trailer that we're putting together here. This is a six by 12 trailer. I'll show you guys what we did. So one of the first things um, that we've changed on this so far is added the um, two inch raised board. So it's got a hidden compartment and uh, it's got a hinged stop there. It's a beveled edge, so you can still roll dolly up and over it. But, um, I'll show you in a second here. This comes up, and as you can see, we can store Unistrut, 10 foot sticks of PVC, etc. It's got a couple compartments. And then this stop comes down. Didn't do the best job on that. Wasn't really too concerned though. Um, it'll still work. We'll still be able to roll a dolly over it nicely. But um, that was one of the major challenges we faced in where to put the Unistrut where it wasn't going to be in the way. Um, as you can see, we've got four inch PVC tubing that we cut. Um, focus here I'm not sure why but um, basically we cut that for a panduit strap gas flex and then uh, we've got silicone and just regular white dap caulking there um, there's a little bit more in this compartment up here um, some wasp spray some miscellaneous items right now basically but um, we're still in the process of stocking the whole trailer um, so it's kind of sparsely stocked at this point, but um, these milk crates, I ordered uh, three more of them basically off of Amazon. Um, they're about 18 bucks for a pack of two, but in here I've got um, all our tape, various uh, tape, silver tape, flex tape, um, black duct tape. Uh, we've got float switches in there, we've got our whips, um, half and three quarter, our vacuum pump set up two half inch hoses, um, micron gauge, and our uh, field piece VP85, um, disconnects, just miscellaneous stuff we've got in here. Um, these small uh, storage bins, probably, uh, probably gonna get filled with um, gas fittings for right now. We've got some miscellaneous stuff in there. Let's get this out of the way. But I'm probably going to take out all these PVC fittings. Um, those aren't going to stay there. Those are probably just going to go in this uh, PVC box that we have up here um, for now. And then up here, we have our long handle tool rack. Um, just in case we need to level a uh, condenser pad side. Um, I hung two small cubbies, basically storage cubbies. Nothing too heavy can really go on those. Um, this is still the uh, quarter inch plywood backing on these. So I anchored them with a ton of screws, but um, <clears throat> still not gonna store anything all that heavy in there. And then over here was um, a spot for our, uh, our shop vac. And then what I ended up doing was um, putting a, uh, a nitro tank rack in, um, carrying some extra solder. Here's our oxygen acetylene. Um, I'm still looking at building a shelf above this, uh, more than likely. But what I did was I mounted these Milwaukee chargers here. Um, so I might put in a strip below them, and uh, these can be these can actually be dismounted. Um, so you can take them out, um, or you can leave them in place um, and run an extension cord to the. Uh, just go back in so that spacing actually worked out really well I've got a couple of rapid chargers or no actually I just have the one rapid charger for the 9 amp hour 12 amp hour batteries from Milwaukee and then um, I've got two uh, regular chargers um, but this space behind the uh, refrigerant tank rack actually kind of worked out perfectly for um, storing sticks of Unistrut um, excuse me storing sticks of arm flex 
<laughs> and insulation, our pipe insulation for that. So I'm um, just trying to make m the most use of the space. And uh, I've still got um, another bottle of 410 I'm gonna put in here. I've got a couple anchors for uh, those extension cords to hang that. So um, that's basically freed up right now. They're just, uh, they're just in there and out of the way. Um, there is a small cubby space below that as well. And then these Milwaukee organizer boxes are actually going to go, um, there's about five of them there, but they're going to actually go down in this lower compartment here, um, where I've got some cookie and just miscellaneous, miscellaneous stuff stored there. So we're still kind of in the stages of organizing everything, stocking it, and uh, getting everything ready for uh, the summer's installs. But um, just wanted to post a quick update. I've got some random miscellaneous stuff. There's our aircraft cable that we use. And then um, I've got the locks in here. Um, so we suspend our units from aircraft cable and Unistrut, which is the reason it was um, kind of important for us to uh, find a space to store that. And then this ladder rack on this side, this is just the Rubbermaid Fast Track. Um, there we go. And that is something they sell at Home Depot. Um, those hooks cost about, I don't know, 18 bucks a piece or something. But um, I just uh, anchored a couple hooks on the bottom <clears throat> there and at the top and ran a bungee cord across so this ladder doesn't, doesn't really move around too much. Um, I don't know if we're gonna keep the flex on here. Um, this is kind of left over from uh, some of our installs this year, but uh, I'm not sure if it's really gonna stay on the trailer or not. Um, the installers like it there in case they need it, but um, we'll see, we'll see. Um, and then uh, I actually uh, added this too. This was kind of this was kind of superfluous. Now um, didn't really need this now, but um, this this actually stores about nine sticks of PVC in there, and uh, that's you know enough to you know get them through any job. Um, So yeah, got a six foot ladder and I've got my eight foot ladder stored down below there. Came together nicely. Obviously we're gonna see how this does and uh, you know, it's always a constant evolution, but um, we'll see how we do with this design, this layout. Um, the next trailer will probably be bigger. Um, you know, at least a seven by 14 double axle. But um, for the time being right now, this is uh, this is what we got, this is what we're working with. I think we made pretty good use of the space. It's just a matter of getting it stocked, getting it organized. Um, and uh, I think I would do um, the bifold doors next time. I don't think I would do the ramp um, if I were to, do, to buy another trailer. But um, we're using what we got right now and uh, we'll see how it works out. So as always, smash that like button and uh, hit us up in the comments if you have any, uh, any questions. Um, we'd be happy to answer them and uh, we'll talk to you guys next time.